Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. I am your host, of course, Celeste Barbier. And today is Wednesday, May 27th in the year 2020. And this is my 66th episode of Quarantine Time. Uh, today, I am drinking a tea that was gifted to me for my anniversary from uh, Vanessa Graziano of the homeless of uh, Oceanside Homeless Resource and I thought it was just so sweet she drove by gave me a couple bags of tea as well as this nice little tea steeper made with silicone and um, this is a local company that does organic teas which I've been wanting to add to my collection so she gave me actually like three of these packets or four and this one is called turmeric tonic it is made with organic turmeric root organic ginger root and organic cinnamon chips which sounds absolutely delightful it already smells really good mm. yes very strong tea definitely good warmy it warms your belly that ginger and that turmeric okay so birthdays let's get right into those it is vincent price's birthday you know him he did all those horror flicks he was awesome he was born in 1911 he's a director and he said a man who limits his interests limits his life women too of course and uh how that, that is a very good point there is so much out in the world that if you only have one or two interests you're missing out on this whole great big world of things to do and to just be excited about and to just add to your life and the vibrancy of your life Susie Sue was also born today you might know her from Susie and the Banshees she was born in 1957 and her quote kind of goes hand in hand with Vincent Price's quote. She says, what I really resent most about people sticking labels on you is that it cuts off all the other elements of what you are because it can only deal with black and white, the cartoon. You got to remember, we're not one dimensional people. And I think people often um, do that to celebrities and people that are well known, like public figures and forget that they're not just <clears throat> their label or their title or their job, that there, there are many different facets to all of us. So for me, I may be doing teetotaling right now for you, but that's not who I am. Um, most people have always known me as a singer. And so this is another dimension of me that they've seen um, doing the talking as opposed to just the singing. And uh, but ultimately, I'm an entertainer. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so just remember that people have so many different facets. That's why I, my wife nicknames me the, the interviewer. I like to find out about people, where they come from, where they've been, who they are, what their interests are, and just to find out what is it that makes them who the, the unique snowflake that they are. It is also Lisa Left Eye Lopez's birthday. You might remember her from TLC. She was born in 1971 and had a very tragic ending, actually. Um, <clears throat> she was a... That was a very popular band when I was in high school. I had the TLC album for um, Creep. And she said, we try to teach women how to be strong, how to believe in themselves, and how to make themselves happy as opposed to pleasing someone else first. It seems to be kind of women's nature sometimes to be the caregiver role, to be the one that is always looking out for everyone else. And a lot of our decisions can sometimes be based on whether or not that's going to make someone else happy, whether it's our parents or our spouses or just, you know, our teachers and mentors. And sometimes it's okay to tell yourself, I don't want to go on this route anymore. I want to go in a different direction. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't vibe with my soul. It's not, uh, it's not, I'm not feeling that frequency. And so I love that she said that that was one of the TLC premises is that they're trying to teach women to be strong without pleasing someone else first. They got to make sure that they are there for themselves. You got to be there for yourself. Um, it is also for the national days, national cellophane tape day. Woo. <laughs> make sure to use that tape. Um, I've been using it to package up Renee's art lately. And it's also National Great Popsicle Day. So, ooh, it's a little bit. This one is hard as a, it's hard as a rock. I made um, Ultima popsicles with these Ultima electrolytes. So these are a little bit salty because it's electrolytes. Now they're salty and sweet. But this is a great electrolyte if you are looking for an electrolyte supplement. I have these to go all the time because if you ever feel... If you're ever on a diet, I mean, you're ever like doing keto or low carb and you feel a little dizzy, a little grumpy, a little moody, a little um, just like really tired or worn out, I 
I swear by electrolytes. It's you sometimes if it you if you feel even like a headache is coming on, try electrolytes because you might be short on those and it is helpful. So having a popsicle electrolytes is not a bad idea. Hmm? Very hard. A little bit salty. <laughs> also, it is National Senior Health and Fitness Day. Um, you know, health and fitness in general. I can just feel it. Like I have not been doing my beach walks because it's full of people and I just don't want to walk around so many people and I have no interest in walking in a mask either. Um, but I haven't been really exercising or working out. And a lot of times when I would do live performances, I'd be dancing around the stage as well as lugging my equipment back and forth and getting a lot more physical exercise. But this is good for seniors and health seniors to focus on your health and fitness. Um, a lot of senior communities do offer small gyms. I'm just not sure if they're opening those up right now. But even just getting a couple hand weights and doing a, some floor stretching and things like that could be helpful, not only for seniors, but for me and for everybody else too. I know that I've been extremely lethargic and sedentary most of the time that I've been on the stay home orders. So that's it for today. Um, today I'm actually going to be heading up to Hollywood Hills to finish my record. So I'm very excited because my next album is going to be coming out. We're hopefully on schedule to do a release on my my wife's birthday, which is 7-11. So we're finishing up my album. It's going to be called Two Worlds. It features two, uh, two original songs by myself and then two cover songs, including Rise Up by Andra Day and uh, Unchained Melody by The Righteous Brothers. So I'm really excited about this album. And today, my really good friend and extremely talented harp player friend, uh, Candice Lavolsi Valentine, is going to be joining me on my record. So that's the last thing we need to do is record her doing her harp and some background vocals by me. And then my album gets to go to the uh, Get Mastered. And we're just I'm really excited. I'm over the moon. So I hope you guys have a fabulous Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow for the 67th episode of Quarantine Time. In the meantime, stay healthy, do a little bit of exercise, maybe have a great popsicle, and uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you guys very much. Take care.